Our coalition government is making Guyana safe from within and from external security threats. A frontline villages policy has been unveiled to ensure the safety of residents and the development of frontier communities, which are the guardians of our territorial integrity and protectors of our national patrimony. Guyana, throughout its 52 years of independence, suffered from the Venezuelan claim to its territory. This threat robbed citizens of the prospect of a safe life in secure communities. It scared away investors. It scuttled development projects. Our coalition government has been reasserting forcefully, firmly, respect for our sovereignty and territorial integrity. Guyana, in the face of provocation, launched sustained engagements aimed at garnering international support for the respect for our territorial sovereignty and integrity. We place the long-standing controversy with the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela before the Secretary General of the United Nations, where it belongs. We ask him to choose a specific means of settlement on the, the agreement to resolve the controversy over the frontier between Venezuela and the then British Guiana, which was signed in February 1966, just before independence, and is commonly known as the Geneva Agreement of 1966. We have sought a juridical settlement for the controversy. Our government, owing to these efforts, sought to bring this controversy to a peaceful and legal end. The case has been referred formally to the International Court of Justice. It has been one of our greatest diplomatic achievements. We are confident we anticipate a ruling which will affirm and reaffirm the award regarding the boundary between the colony of British Guiana and the United States of Venezuela, as it was then called, in 19, 1899, and to reassert our convention, our convention that there is no validity in the Venezuelan claim to our territory. Subtítulos y traducción. Mi mapa de Venezuela incluye nuestro Esequibo.